So hi, my name is Liz Johnson and I'm making this video as a presentation to be considered for a position in the Epic Charter School with their UTeach program. So a little bit about me. My family comes from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. We've been in the Oklahoma City area for about seven and a half years. We have loved every minute of it. We love the culture here in Oklahoma. Some of my background. Um, I have a bachelor's degree in legal studies as well as a minor in psychology. I followed that up a few years later with a master's degree in management and technology. Um, that education was a superb uh, way to enter into the high tech world, which is kind of what my background was in before staying home with my children. Um, I worked in the dot com industry, so it was very, very uh, crazy with all of the um, new businesses popping up and new technologies constantly emerging but i loved it because it was a combination of at least the industry that i was in was um, i was a deployment consultant which is a great fun way to say that i was a project manager and i worked in a sector where one of the newest emerging technologies the high tech sector kind of clashed with one of the nation's oldest industries and that's steel production. So I had a really cool job where I would go in after the sales team and I would work with their data department to map data so that it was uploadable to our website for sale. And then I would also work with their sales team and train them. So I really kind of enjoyed watching people's attitudes kind of turn from reluctant to really, really embracing the new technology. So it was a super, super cool job. Um, so, uh, and then from there I went into homeschooling my own kids, which is not really a path that I ever saw myself taking, but I have homeschooled both of my children from kindergarten through graduation and have loved, loved, loved it. Um, some fun random facts about me. I love football. I love football so much that I often watch football games when even my teams aren't playing. Um, I love reading. I like to read um, historical fiction and sometimes um, biographies that are written more as a narrative, like Ron Chernow or um, David McCullough. Um, another fun fact is that my mother always told me I should be a teacher and I was pretty certain I was going to be a lawyer and then I was going to go into the high tech sector and then I ended up teaching. So it kind of shows you your mom is usually right. Um, anyway, so um, that probably is it for me. So I want to go into some of the task summaries that I've been working on for the last day. And the first was the grit assessment. And I kind of thought that was interesting. I agree mostly with the assessment. I think I came up in the 80th percentile, um, which means I score higher than 80% with my grittiness. Um, I agree. I think I'm pretty gritty in some areas. When it comes to work, absolutely, it, with tasks and goals and, and schooling and um, um, education, whether it's been tutoring one-on-one, -on -one, whether it's been in a classroom, because I do teach at a homeschool co-op, I teach Latin and high school English. Um, when I'm at home, I don't think I'm nearly as gritty. Um, my husband may disagree when it comes to home improvement projects that I am pretty gritty. So I think that scale could, or that score could slip up or down in either direction a little bit, depending on how it's applied. Um, so as far as the other tasks, the research, so I found those pretty interesting. I was pretty uh, excited about one of them, but the first one was the data-driven. And I kind of like that it's combining you know, new technology with old classic observations like teacher assessments and things like that. Um, I asked some opinions of some teachers that I know what their what their thoughts were on data driven, um, and and they were actually pretty enthusiastic. I, I guess I didn't know what their response would be. They were pretty enthusiastic, and one of my contacts actually said that it shows her where they have goals and where and, or where they might have gaps and where they need to have an emphasis. And I thought that was a pretty good way to kind of summarize it. Um, the differentiated instruction, I really, really, one, my biggest takeaway from that was the idea of having text written at different reading levels because not every single textbook has to be written at a high reading level. Um, I know when I was tutoring, I had a high school girl, a uh, family that I worked for had fostered and adopted many, many children, and some of them had never, ever been sent to school. So we had high schoolers that weren't able to keep up with their peers. Anyway, I found some elementary aged, elementary reading level Shakespeare books. So she was able to read, um, 
uh, Romeo and Juliet and still get some of the main lines from the book, you know, um, uh, as well as the storyline and kind of still be in sync with her peers and feel really good about it. So, you know, I don't think every textbook needs to be written on a super high level to get the to get the importance of the information. Um, that was my main takeaway from it. But um, I also like the idea of incorporating kids learning style. So that kind of goes into the last, which was probably my favorite and the, that's the personalized learning. And I think to me, that's the model where both homeschooling and um, charter schools like Epic can succeed because you really get to customize curriculum. Um, I really like a, an approach that takes into consideration a, a student's learning style, whether they're an auditory learner or um, a visual learner or a kinesthetic learner. And I think personally, I kind of like approaches that incorporate all three because, you know, while you may be a visual learner, it's not, it's, you don't want to totally ignore your auditory abilities um, and building those up because you can always certainly learn to push your, push yourself in those areas a little bit. Um, that to me was the, the one I was probably the most excited about because it's something that I'm passionate about is learning how a child learns and knowing how to work with them so that they can best succeed in their education. So I wanna thank you for taking the time to view this. Thank you for your consideration. Please feel free to follow up with me via email or phone. Thank you so much.